fighting crime by fighting back. A new program is making sure Valley residents are armed, protected, and ready to act. 8 News Now reporter Shaquilla Alvarenga takes us through the class. You gotta actually grip it though. They all have different stories. Go like that. Some victims of domestic violence. Keep your wrist nice and locked straight. There you go. I'm Others, sexual abuse. Better? But they have Good. one thing in common. They want now to fight safe. back. It's a program that's actually comprised of self-defense moves and firearms. The program is called ACT. It stands for Armed Civilian Tactics and Training. The world is a dangerous place, and the idea and the mindset of, oh, it's never going to happen to me, is it's just not true. We were pretty much shut in for the entire night. The windows covered, the doors locked. So we want to make sure that, you know, we at least give privacy to the outside observer to make sure that they're not seeing anything that might make them uncomfortable. The guns, they're real, and so are the scenarios. Before we actually start any class, we actually pat down every single person when they come in, and if they need to leave it all to um, go get something from their car, they're pat down again. The motto, be the victor, not the victim. Whether you want to keep one in your house or not, or carry one, is important. It's one of the most important things because it's lack of knowledge and lack of education that causes a lot of accidents. So here? They're learning everything from a simple task like drawing a gun, a gun turn. to stopping someone from pulling your hair. Allison even tried it on me. We want to make sure that you know how to move left and right, how to get out of the way if somebody's running at you. Allison believes feeling empowered in a violent Good. world is everyone's right. Shakela Alvarenga, 8 News Now.